Brits. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry travelled to Buckingham Palace on Tuesday to join the entire royal family, including King Charles III, the Queen Consort and the Prince and Princess of Wales, as they received the Queen's coffin. This was one private moment, and no picture was leaked. However, there was one photo posted by Omid Scobie that shows King Charles followed by Harry and Meghan at Buckingham Palace as the Queen was brought inside for the final time. Specific instructions were given to the media to not obtain and especially publish photos from inside Buckingham Palace. Members of the royal family made a point to avoid being captured, except the usual suspect of course found a window where she previously tipped off the paparazzi should be stationed. The Queen Consort reportedly wants nothing to do with her, and the King has kept her in a hostage far away from him. But Netflix needs the content, so of course the sociopath did what she does best. Still, the media refused to publish this photo, and guess what? Meghan had her mouthpiece bestie, Scobie, publish it. Remember, Scobie lives and breathes on Meghan's instructions. The guy lied to a judge for Meghan. Do you even for a moment believe that he would publish a paparazzi photo of a privacy-obsessed woman if he didn't have her explicit approval? Meghan was pissed. Press refund to publish it. Paparazzi photo risked too much to get the snap, hence the instructs her mouthpiece to not only publish it but keep paparazzi photographer happy and tag him. How low is too low for this woman? Photographer is a freelancer, lately has been working on a lot of staged, tipped off assignments, many for the politicians and celebrities. This is 100% staged by Meghan. Media was given such strict instructions that even the Daily Mail published briefly and deleted the photo. It's so intrusive and disturbing. Meghan had her mouthpiece post this. Why violate privacy of a 70 year old man who's just lost his mum and has weight of the world on his shoulders. She's despicable. This was one private moment they could have as a family. They're already not relaxed because they don't trust the Markle couple. Everything they say eventually ends up on Netflix or with Oprah. So they already had their guard up, measured every single word, and now this disgusting intrusion of privacy all because egomaniac wanted attention on her. Meanwhile, royal expert Kinsey Schofield claimed the Queen's death only interrupted Meghan's victory lap of the UK. Meghan and Harry had been in Germany to promote the Invictus Games when news of the monarch's ill health broke, prompting the Sussexes to rush back to the UK where Harry continued on to Balmoral and Meghan remained in London. She said, I applaud the Prince and Princess of Wales for allowing Harry and Meghan to be seen with them after that horrific Oprah interview, referring to the Sussexes' first ever tell-all interview back in 2021, where the couple made a number of allegations, including that Meghan and her unborn child had faced racism at the hands of a member of the royal family. She added, by being seen together, they temporarily stopped the War of the Windsors conversation. However, the To Die For Daily podcast host warned that this wasn't the beginning of the end of the couple's intense rivalry. I don't know how anyone could forgive Harry and Meghan, she continued. The death of the Queen only interrupted Meghan's victory lap around the UK, promoting herself and her podcast through charity stops. Vulgar. The walkabout in Windsor was the first official engagement the pair had attended together since the death of the Queen and fetched plenty of criticism. 